What's up everyone, welcome back to Workshop Rebuild. If the title didn't already give it away, I'll be working with wood today, and if you guys wanna see what I'm gonna be doing, stay tuned. The material I'll be using today consists mainly of two by fours. What I have right here is an assortment of two by fours on the ground, um, some of this is actually just from the barn and the rest are cutoffs and then we have two new pieces of 2x4 and one really long piece that will screw on to the wall. I will be using two legs for this bench. Um, I might get some 4x4s for that as two legs. One will be right here and one behind me. And then the table top will consist of a 3 quarter inch plywood. I shared with you guys an insight on how the workbench should look like in the end. It's nothing really precise, but I will make it the right height um, so I'm not really too low and I'm not too high either. So if I do disassemble an engine, it's at a nice height. Um, those benches over there are exactly 38 and a half inches off the ground to the table top. And I think for me, that's a really good height. Um, for you, it may vary if you guys are making your own bench. And now I'll go through the tools that I'll be using as well for this project. And if you guys have these tools, it'll help you out if you guys want to make a bench yourself. So right in front of me here, I have an impact driver. I'm going to be using safety glasses. I'm going to be using a scale saw. I have some wooden screws, which are eight by two and a half. I have a laser level. I have a hand level. I have a triangle, I have a measuring tape, and a pen or a pencil will work out fine. So I shared with you guys the tools I'll be using. So now let's dig into the material and get some stuff measured and cut. So I'm right here in the corner and I believe this would be the highest point of the concrete just by looking at it. So what I mark right here is 34 inches and a quarter and now I'm going to get my laser and just shoot the laser over to the other side and make a mark over there and maybe one more in the middle and then we'll get the first 2x4 mounted. Sometimes you just gotta get a new battery before you start. <laughs> I got the first 2x4 mounted onto the wall and this actually is only the support 2x4. This 2x4 right here will actually go on top of this one right here like this. So when we put the plywood on top of the 2x4 right here, the load that is on top of the table will then go through this 2x4 and eventually this one, which is the support. I need to know the length of my bench I'm not really sure exactly what length because I am using an existing cut off piece of 3 quarter inch plywood so I have to actually uh, shape my bench according to the material I have because everybody knows the lumber prices have skyrocketed um, well over 300% of the actual value so uh, I have to work with what I have right now and it, I really want to get this bench done so I can actually use it.
gonna put the first two by four on the side wall over there, and that's approximately the width of the bench right there. And now, what I'll be doing next is actually taking one of these four by fours right here and cutting it to length because this four by four will be flush with this one right here, and I have to actually cut it to this height right here or just a little bit below, which will give me the opportunity to lay the three quarter inch plywood on top. some cuts done off camera I got the second post cut to height this 2x4 right here is cut on a diagonal and the 2x4 right behind me here which is actually the face plate is also cut to length and on the correct diagonal as well so what I can do right now is mount everything and make sure that the, the second leg over here is nice and vertical so let's get that done I just finished the frame of the workbench and as you guys can see this is really robust even if I sit in the middle right here uh, this is not going anywhere but now I'm going to put that piece of plywood on it and see how that looks like. So the piece of plywood is on top of the workbench frame right here and 3 quarter inch plywood will just make your bench really really solid. Um, if you want to bang on this table with uh, hammers or anything else, uh, then I would suggest you go a little bit thicker, maybe 1 inch, and possibly put another leg down there to just make it even more robust. But other than that, uh, for my purpose, uh, this is good enough. And now what I can do is actually cut out a little triangle of 3 quarter inch plywood and mount that right here. But it's getting dark on me and uh, I don't have enough time to actually go outside and cut that triangle. So I'll catch you guys in the morning and we'll finish up this workbench. So I'm back in the workshop and I got the first bit of the workbench done right here. I did cut the 3 quarter inch plywood to size so that fits right there. It did get dark on me so I couldn't go out uh, on the table saw and actually cut the triangular piece that fits right here. So I did that this morning off camera and this is how it looks like right here and it fits in this corner perfectly like that but before I actually screw it down to the frame of the workbench I'm going to actually sand the surface down so I can then give it a clear coat or a varnish and I'm going to route the edges that are up front so I actually don't cut myself on these freshly cut edges so without further ado let's go outside and sand these pieces of plywood off and then route the edges
As the workbench sits right here, it's basically done. Uh, the base frame is done, the legs are done, and the three quarter inch plywood as the workbench top is also screwed to the frame itself. Now the only thing that I'm gonna have to do is actually apply this lacquer finish right here. Um, I'm choosing this because it's pretty durable against some oils or some other uh, detergents that I use when I clean something. And so I'll be applying that, but I'll do that tonight because uh, you really have to do that in a well vented area and I don't wanna be in here as I apply that or actually as it dries. So this bench right here is done and as you guys can see, It'll hold me up. This is a pretty solid bench, and uh, that was just something small I wanted to share with you guys. And I might be doing some more videos like this in the future, just sharing with you guys what I do on a daily. If you haven't already, please leave a like down below. It helps the channel out massively. If you have any questions about this workbench right here, leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you very soon. And as always, stay tuned.